Hello, welcome to the astrology readings for um, the 26th of February through to the 3rd of March. It's hard me wet wipes in my draw. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we're going to be doing um, the readings recorded today. So me and my guides, we say the royal we. Um, yeah, um, only because I was just in too much pain today. And so I've had to wait until my pain levels are sorted ish so they are <laughs> um i hope everybody's had a wonderful week and um yeah just a few things i wanted to say um so we are doing them in the this order so if you have a look down here we could be doing them in, in the order of fire fire signs water signs earth signs and then air signs air signs were first in um last week so yeah we're trying to rotate um the um astrology readings so yes everybody gets a chance to be first so um yeah um we've got a new psychic development group um started out me my guys are saying we again and it is running every monday and um it's a different topic every monday so you can join in whenever you want okay you can join in you can join in for just the one off class or you can join in every week entirely up to you um so yeah that is um 7 30 p.m uk till 10 30 p.m uk which is 2 30 p.m eastern 11 30 a.m pacific time okay it is just five pounds at the moment five pounds which works out around six dollars okay pay as you go so yeah if you wanted to come in and join in um please go to the website psychicali.net send me a message and then i will send you the full list of what um we are going to be learning each week and also um you know the zoom code and everything so just wanted to say a big thank you, heartfelt thank you to all my Patreons. Um, the list is running underneath here at the moment. So, yeah, we're just um, <clears throat> we're just so grateful, um, me and my guys, my family, because it all helps us. It, it helps me be able to keep afloat and um, to carry on doing what I love to do, which is uh, doing the videos and um, do my readings and just um, you know is there many people that can say that they absolutely love their job not many um, but we all should we all should be doing a job that we love somehow somehow we make that our goal this year maybe what do you think um, I think it'll be a good idea yeah um, so this week this coming monday which is tomorrow in england it will be today because it is 5 30 a.m here in england um so yeah we're going to be doing color readings so everything to do with color color um healing we're going to be projecting color out um to whoever needs it to the planet um we're going to be doing all sorts of things with color um you can do ribbon readings if you've ever kind of um, got lots of loose ribbons or you know string and things like that you can put it all in a bundle tie it all together I usually get an old bangle and I tie it onto a bangle and uh, yeah you just shake out the the, ri the the ribbons and then you can allow somebody to pick their chosen ribbon what they're drawn to and sometimes they're not drawn to the usual color that they would normally have so um, and sometimes they are, um, you know, they're shocked by that, you know. So, and then the other person, want, you know, your person would have run that through their fingers as they choose it. Okay, you then pass that over to the reader yourself, and then you run it through your fingers, and the vibrational energy of that person is there. It's a bit like psychometry. So you could be reading that the ribbon is kind of like rough to touch. It might be lace. So it might be pretty, but it's rough to touch, or it might be kind of bobbly, you know, different different ribbons, different things. Um, it might be a thick ribbon, it might be a thin ribbon, um, in which case, you know, has it has it been through a lot? You know, has this person been through a lot? So yeah, so you're you're kind of building up layer by layer by layer. 
so yeah ribbon readings very difficult to teach um online because obviously i'm not there so um you'd have to have somebody to practice on at home um for you to be able to join in properly with that so but we do do color readings and things so that's always good okay um so i'm going to be at the bell inn on wednesday the 28th of february so that's this wednesday the 28th of february if anybody would like a one-to-one -one reading uh please come down to the bell inn in shepherd's well near dover okay it's shepherd's well near dover beautiful pub um church hill beautiful pub and um you know it's got a side room okay where we do the readings and and uh, the readings are £15 for 20 minute reading. So, yep, just pop on in there. We've got a lovely lady um, who does take the bookings for us and runs it, helps us kind of it all to run smoothly. You're given a number um, and then you go and read, have a reading with your chosen psychic. OK, so there's not just me there. There are other psychics. I tend to do the future predictions. We've got other readers who do contact with spirit and some other readers that do kind of a mixture of the two so yeah it, it would be your choice what you wanted to do so you know we um once a month we are always at the five bells in eastry um we're always there so one week one month it will be a thursday the next next month it will be a saturday so we do alternate so if you wanted to know the dates of any of these um yeah eastry is near sandwich so um, yeah, it's a it's a lovely pub, and again, it's got a side room. This has got a side room. This is like more like a hall. This one, so we do an audience type of event a lot of the time, um, and then we do sit down one to one readings afterwards. Um, this next month, when we're going to be there, um, let me try and find the date. Um, we're going to be doing just one to one readings. Okay. So I think we're the 20th of March, if I remember right. So I've decided to kind of bring these in because there are some English people that do watch these things. So, yes, it is 20th of March. Um, the readers will be um, myself doing future predictions. We've got a lovely lady called Julie who does mediumship readings, proof of life after. And we've got a lovely lady called Athena and she does um, future predictions. She also gets the mediumship through as well. There will be one more reader, which we don't know yet. So I've got to ask that. We're always looking for new psychics. So if you are psychic and you fancy joining our lovely team um, of guiding angels, then please reach out to me. OK, so if you do readings in pubs, I definitely pay more than um, the, the sorry readings in churches, spiritualist churches. I definitely pay more than that. So, um, and uh, it's a lovely, lovely energy in these rooms. So, anyway, so yeah, if you wanted to join in and uh, and come along to those, and the healing list, it's going so well. We are now on healing list six. Okay, the the newest names gone down there. That's my lovely friend Kim, who's going through, um, you know, being, you know, she's going through an operation. Okay, she's got that booked in so yeah so we've got healing list five you know it looks very childlike but the energies of me coloring this in the energies of the healing going out um to people is truly amazing we've had some such huge results like people saying i cannot believe it as soon as my name was written down there was a surge of healing um that came to me um, my mum, she had a um, lump and uh, the doctor was going to rush that through and, you know, everything was going to, you know, be. And because of we've asked for healing and, and because we've done, I've been visualising the lump getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Um, she can't find it. She can't find the lump. So see what I mean? The power of healing, it really does work. I always put my name on these, always. Um, if there is somebody who has an ongoing, then you can have your name on every sheet, okay? That's fine. 
you can do that. Um, so yeah, just uh, let us know. Okay, let us know. Uh, we'll keep that going. Here's my. He keeps going out, getting wet, coming back in, you know, to get a, a rub down again. <laughs> you know how he likes that. So most my cat. It's not a yeah. Anyway, it's my cat. Why is it like? bit weird if someone says they you know my friend wants to come in and have a rub down it's just not right, is it? Not right. anyway say hello Mo. So make me make me out to be yeah this is the cat okay this is Mo and he's our mascot cat in the winter he flushed right out like that don't you what's over here look so yeah he's very pretty very pretty boy sorry handsome handsome um he's after treats he won't leave me alone to put some treats down I'm very sorry so um i do try and be professional you know and get everything organized and all ready and everything but it doesn't always work out like that here okay we're off, we're off and running apart from his bottom being in the camera um, so for for my Patreons, okay, my Patreons, I love you, love you, love you so, so much. Um, so if you do decide that you wanted to join my Patreons, um, you can um, join as little as, it's like a membership, and you get something for each tier, okay, something bigger and bigger and bigger as you go up. Um, so the magician, um, let the magic begin, is $1.00. 11 okay and that works at about 89 pence so so cheap but it does support me believe it or not it does support me and with that once a month the last thursday of every month we get together and you me and everybody else we pick cards for each other and we chat and we laugh and we find out how everybody's been doing um you know for, for that month and you know sometimes it's a way of uh, you know reaching out to people for like-minded people so you don't feel so alone and um, so you know it's it's, it's lovely um, Greg offers the same thing on in 5d we all get together with Greg um, our, on Greg's channel as well so yeah because he's got patreon too so um, if you did want to join in it is patreon here it's coming up down here patreon.com forward slash psychic alley or it's forward slash in 5D, if you wanted to support Greg. Now, if you wanted to support both of us, uh, but you are, you know, there's Greg's there, okay? But you didn't have the money to support both of us, because sometimes, you know, that is the case. There is a, ta a tier on Greg's that supports both of us. And for that, we both will get together with you and we'll do your reading every month. So um so yeah i think it's a 30 minute reading and we'll we'll get together with you so if that sounds something that you want to do then pop over to um uh, patreon.com forward slash in 5d um the next tier up is 555 um and for that you get uh, the monthly meetup uh, uh, the meeting read meeting and then you get a like a, a mini recorded reading just a five minute um i just uh, tune into your energy and give you um a little message now if you wanted to ask me an actual question you can do that too okay so the um next tier up is eleven dollars eleven sorry the 555 works out at four pounds 45 the currency changes up and down so it might not be exact um, but yeah, the Hierophant is um, $11.11 .11 per month, and that is £8.91 last time I checked. And that is the monthly video meetup, um, what I said to you before, doing each of the cards, mini recorded reading, like I said to you before, that little one, and then classes and workshop videos. So any time that I do a class or I do a workshop, it's recorded, and you can then watch those recordings you can watch any of those recordings some of them are six hour workshops okay so you can go in and you can watch all of those it is a facebook page a closed first facebook page and um, you become a member of that page and you can then go in and watch all of those um, so the next tier up is the star and each tier you get everything from the previous tier 
Okay. Um, I am going to be changing my Patreon up a little bit, offering different things, kind of jazzing it up a little bit. But there will be lots of notice, like there'll be two months notice whether or not you want to shift and change your tiers. But for now, this is how it is. So the start is $22.22 22 per month. That's £17.82. And for that, you get the monthly video meetup. You get a mini recorded reading. You get the classes and videos workshops. If you don't have Facebook, I do send them over to you as a link that you can then watch. And with that, uh, the 2222, you get a mystery gift sent to you last time what did i do last time sometimes there's a pack of tarot cards or oracle cards sometimes there is a really nice crystal other times there are um just um i think i put in there i've put in dream catchers oh just so many so many different things so it's a mystery gift sent to your door um and then the next tier up is 33 dollars 33 which is my most popular one at the moment. It's £26.73. And uh, you get the monthly meetup. Um, but this, you get a 20 minute recorded reading. So I record a reading for you for this month, what's going to be happening for the next month. Okay, so you get that. Um, and then you get also get the classes, chats, workshop, and you get the mystery gift. Um, the newest tiers that I've got up is $44.44 per month, and that's £35.65 per month. Um, and that's monthly meetup. You can then get a 30-minute. These are face-to-face -face readings, the, the $44 ones. You get a face-to-face, -face, like Zoom um, meeting. I send you my availability every week, um, probably for the first week, and then perhaps we'll arrange a regular you know, day like through the month you that we then get together and I do your reading and so you could have psychic development that it, every month if you wanted to or you, you could have counseling or you could just ask questions or you could do like the timeline readings you could do a clearance you there's so many things it's literally up to you um out of all my list of things what you wanted to do um with that also you get the classes and workshop videos and the monthly gift okay as well um if you want to go to the top tier it is 77 dollars 77 and that is 62 pounds 39 so you get the monthly meetup you get the classes workshop videos the mystery gift but this time you then get one hour one hour reading as well okay as all of that one hour reading and that you, again you can have that for uh, psychic development counseling you can change it up each month if you want to um so yeah it is up to you what you want so anyway i just thought i would explain the patreon to you um obviously greg does his thing as well and um you know there's a lot of people out there doing patreon and um yeah it's just to help the video creators that's kind of how it's designed for but it's also like a membership as well I mean I would probably do a membership anyway whether or not you know um whether whether it was patreon or not so I think I'm up to date with everything you're probably saying oh come on Ali get on with it why don't you yeah. all right I will I'm getting on with it okay let me change the banner so I've said thank you so much for you guys i really really appreciate you okay so the readings this week will be fire signs which is um we'll start off with leo sagittarius aries water signs scorpio pisces cancerians earth signs taurus virgo capricorn and then we'll finish with um the air signs which is aquarius gemini and libra Okay, so don't forget to look up your sun, moon, and rising signs because um, you know you should be reading, you should be listening to three of them. Okay, um, so if you want to, how do you get your sun, moon, and rising? Well, you go to a search engine and you put in what is my sun, moon, and rising signs free calculation. Okay, make sure you put free calculation, otherwise, they try and sell you something, which they might do anyway, um, but it should be free. 
and you just put in um, location, time, and and uh, day of your birth. Okay, you put in those. Um, some of them it can be approximate. Okay, so yeah, that's what you do, and it will tell you what your sun, moon, and rising is. Okay, so um, as I say with all the videos, my guides do a magical job at adding in information that is for whoever is watching as well. So I might be reading for Taurians, but there'll be a little gem of information there that is for you. Okay, and that and it will happen in every single reading. So it is watch it worth watching it all. Okay. Um, so yeah, just uh, just saying that's what they're doing at the moment. Um, and there's usually a theme running. Okay, so every week, there's something that is for the collective as well. So I've got my lovely crystal ball here. So I'm going to be using that as well. I love the energy of it. Okay, so the cards that I'm using today are the Cosmic Deck by Norbert Loesch. They're a really good first deck. If anybody does want my written workbook, um, you can contact me and I can send it over to you. Okay, so um, yeah, it's uh, I've just written what I, what I feel each card means. It's a very easy guide, okay? So yeah, if you want to find out more about that, then please reach out to me um, on psychicalli.net on anything if you want to, psychic advice, um, anything. All right. So let's have a look. I'm just building up that energy. First of all, let's get a lot of energy in. Um, I'm going to be looking at the highest timeline for you. What you have to do, what your job is, is to keep your vibration as high as possible that means try and be in as much joy as much gratitude and as much happiness as you possibly can we're okay to have down days down days happen but how long do you stay down I usually give myself a 24 hour thing and then I get it give myself a kick up the ass and I get on with things okay up to you grief is a totally different thing you know pain can also get you down very much but um, at the moment, the dark side out there is trying to find as much loose as possible, which means it feeds off depression, um, anger, um, frustrations, anything along those lines. That's what happens. I'm sorry to say it does. OK, so let's go forward. Um, where's the Leos? Here is the Leo. So. Um, I know that uh, Greg's daughter, Brittany, is a Leo. So hi, Brittany. Um, I'm so it will be, you know, I don't know when your birthday is. I think it's already been, I think. So, but uh, anyway, I feel as if there's a party. That's why I'm saying particularly for Brittany out there, I'm seeing um, arrangements for a party and it's kind of like in a hall or it's in a very social gathering um, because I'm seeing partying, I'm seeing drinks, and I'm seeing celebrations. I know you work in a bar, but this is definitely something that you attend personally. Okay, so let's have a little look. So I'm just going to close my eyes and tune in to Leo's. Here we go. Okay. So lovely Leo's. We start with okay they're talking to me about um rerouting okay so i feel as if i'm not stable or secure enough where i am now that can be for some of you that will be to do with a job others of you that will be um maybe in a relationship or maybe at home i know that covers a wide range but i'm going to bring it down okay so I feel as if I need fairness and I, I feel that I need justice. I need to know that I am being appreciated and I need to know that I'm not being taken for granted because there's been enough of that. They're talking to me also about um, a boss or somebody who is bossy around as well. Now that person can be a bit manipulative. They seem to be manipulating you, you uh, Leos, when you know, they know that you're vulnerable and uh, that's not on. That's just not fair. So I do feel as if you've come to 
that kind of realization that this is a happening and um, what can you do about it? Well, you're definitely going to do something about it. I, that's what I feel at the beginning of the week. I'm also seeing some sort of official documents or paperwork around you as well, something that is nagging you to get on and do it or complete it. Okay, so the middle of the week, um, the middle of the week, um, a little bit of an obstacle, and I feel this obstacle is coming because I feel depressed or I feel low. Um, I feel as though I am worried about something, worried about someone. I'm on edge. I can't relax. They're showing me somebody around who can get frustrated. They can get angry or they can e expel kind of negativity. Um, now, sometimes that can then ricochet to you and you may then uh, pick up on that. They're asking you to try and stay as grounded as possible and don't get into this back and forth like tennis match with anger or nasty texts or phone calls or things like that because it really will affect you far worse than it will affect them. And that is mainly because you're an empath and because you've heightened your spirituality um, to such a degree that that is um, it affects you. OK, so they're asking you to switch that around. I would like to see if there's another timeline for that one. OK, because that's more on the lower level timeline. OK, so what I mean is uh, for very positive people, people living in gratitude and kind of bouncing through life and, you know, so it's all meant to be, oh, well, that was a shitty day. Okay. Well, better, better tomorrow, I suppose, you know, that's vibrating on the highest timeline. Okay. Which means brilliant stuff just keeps flowing into your life. Um, you know, you manifest very easily and, you know, whatever you want or desire usually comes to you if it's meant to be. Um, most people are on the middle one, which is we fluctuate into the highest gratitude when we come back down to life's OK. I get on. It's OK. You know, I'm looking for adventure, I'm looking for some change. You know, it's like, oh, I'm so happy to be alive, you know, up and down with that that one. So and then there's the lower timeline, which is these arguments, arguments, getting involved in 3D energy. 3D energy, for anybody who doesn't know, is very much materialistic energy. Um, it is, you know, believing everything that our government tell you, you know, everything is like, no, no one will hurt me. That's fine. And um, so anyway, I feel that there is another timeline there. So I'm going to ask the cards. OK, so we've got another deck. Um, this is a Terror of Dreams by Cairo Marchetti probably said his name very wrong but anyway right I'm asking is there another timeline for Leo's for the middle of the week next week okay sometimes there isn't but sometimes there is okay okay there most definitely is a better timeline so you can make a better choice Leo's okay so in this particular deck the Tower of Dreams in a minute, I'll get the box down in the next kind of break that I do. I'll get the box down for you so you can see. So there is an extra card in each of the suits, which is palace. OK, palace of wands, palace of swords, palace of cups, palace of uh, pentacles. So this is palace of wands. OK, and I read three cards together. So then we've got the giving out of money okay or someone giving you money okay so there's definitely an exchange of finances there and it's linked to the home it's linked to ambition to do with the home and then we have the king of cups which is usually my cancerian energy okay so again homely so i feel that there is it's like if you know that whenever you see this particular person this person tends to trigger you or whenever this person has pushed your buttons too much, it's best for you to just go away and be quiet. Um, just balance yourself up again and then you can get back out again. So I think this is telling you to watch your energy. OK, um, you know, watch your energy and, you know, get yourself um, straight again. But there is a, another as a good financial reward coming to you. 
um, if you kind of stay on that high vibrational energy in the middle of the week, there seems to be something really nice uh, going on uh, for you, an opportunity, um, a very small opportunity. It's small, but it's an, a quick opportunity to earn a bit of extra money. OK, so and uh, to stop you getting feeling like that, that negative energy. OK, so let's have a look at the end of OK, so the end of the week for Leo's. OK, I'm seeing a training opportunity, learning new skills, um, being taught something that is going to be very, very good for you in the future. Um, and I feel an excitement regarding that. Um, they are showing me that there is somebody around you who you just have to be careful um, not to tell them too much information about your personal life. I feel as if you're keeping them at arm's length. I do see that you would normally uh, walk away from this person, but for some reason, you're kind of stuck with them for now. OK, so this just means I've got to guard myself from that. Um, so visualize yourself in the middle of a crystal ball. That's the bubble, okay? It can be clear, it doesn't have to be this color. It can be clear, Vi visualize a crystal ball. You wake up with it, okay? Um, I usually kind of program my guides to, when I touch my nose, my shield goes up, mirrors on the outside facing outwards. So if there's any negativity coming at me, it just goes straight back to sender, okay? Um, you know, only if somebody is deliberately sending it to me, by the way, not just nice people just might be in a bad mood saying, I can't stand her lipstick today. Grr. You know, that doesn't matter. OK, that's not going to get you any of that. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, there seems to be this. Uh, yeah, it's like a training course. And I, I just I feel as if it's like, you know, you're trying to steer away from negative people. OK, um, but yeah, all in all, I feel as if it will be a good week, really. Um, you can ch you can choose whether you want to play that silly game in the middle of the week. <laughs> it is up to you. So there, that's for Leos. Lovely, lovely Leos. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Okay, let's see with Sagittarius. Oh, I should have been writing them down, shouldn't I? Um, Greg's showed me what to do with the time stamps that I haven't been doing so I didn't understand it so 32 30 32 32 40 okay so okay Sagittarius okay Sagittarius is my uh what is it my Sun, moon, moon. It's my moon sign. Okay. Here we go. So the beginning of the week, the beginning of the week, there's going to be a bit of a celebration. I'm seeing um, public acclaim. I'm seeing triumph. I'm seeing people saying, well done, congratulations. That's brilliant news. Um, I'm so pleased for you, or I'm so proud of you. Now I'm hearing this, but I don't know if someone's saying it to you or you're saying it to them. I don't know. I'm just feeling this really good energy where it's uh, this. This is um, this this person, whoever this is, really deserves this recognition. OK, and it feels good and it feels like, you know, when it's like you've got the opportunity to celebrate, to go out and celebrate, you've got the opportunity to reach out to people and draw them in deliberately to get them out. Um, if you are an organiser, if you're the type of person who does organise things easily, is, is uh, that friend, that friend that tends to do it, I I really implore you, implore you to set up that get together with people friends family please set up that thing um even if it's just a meal out or lunch or whatever you know just to just to get together even if it's just with one person um to try and socialize more okay that's my guides giving us all a, a bit of a kick 
this this week. Okay, so they're talking about isolation um, because we are feeling a lot more isolated than we normally would be. Um, this isolation, there needs to be a break in that isolation because sometimes we then think too much, we then dissect things, we then criticize our relationships when actually if we were busy, we wouldn't even bother. Um, you know, we would just be, you know, it is what it is, you know, I'm, I'm happy enough. And sometimes we blame a relationship for when we're not happy. And, and that usually is we're expecting a partner to be our best friend, um, our lover, uh, our companion, our uh, confidant, our counsellor. Um, our games player, our whatever, and you're expecting your partner to be all of those things when actually your partner's really good at this, this, and this. Not so good at that, not so good at this. And that's where your friendships come in. Whether you have your friendships online or whether you have your friendships with her down the road or your neighbor, whatever it is, okay, that it's supposed to be delegated to a team to keep you happy. OK, and sometimes when we haven't got enough going on in our lives, it we implode and then start picking, picking, picking at, you know, the fact that, you know, when was the last time he was romantic for me or she was romantic for me? When was the last time? And it's like, well, when was the last time you did it? When, when did you do that? So is it always down to the partner? So somebody needs to hear this OK information. Um, there is a bit of boredom and restlessness I'm feeling around Sagittarius, and that's why I feel that it's a good idea to get out there. You've got this party card, you've got a bloody good excuse to party, so let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Um, so this is the middle of um, the middle of next week. I decided that for me and my friends, um, once a month, whoever's birthday is within that month, we're going to celebrate. We're going to go out for everybody and to celebrate those people's birthdays. So March people's birthdays and then it'll be April people's birthdays. And then and we just go on like that. That's what I've decided to do. And because I'm quite good at organizing things and, you know, we're going to kind of do like a restaurant thing. So we're going to go to that restaurant. We will try that restaurant. We'll try that restaurant. Um, and that's what we're going to do. So if you feel as if that's something you could do, why not? Why not? OK, middle of the week. Um, deal with it. Most sarcastic card in the deck. It's saying that you're going to be a bit sarcastic with a person who is being whiny. Yeah. You know, when somebody is just they're just draining you because you say something positive, they say something negative. You say something, you try and give them encouragement, they say something derogatory. Um, it's like you're constantly pouring energy in and it goes down. And I know I've been the other side as well where you can't cheer up no matter what, you just can't because everything's falling in at you and you do feel bad. But I'm going to say, for the people that are trying to build that person up, remember what it was like when you felt like that. But the other way around is if you continue to be like that for a long period of time, those people are going to stop trying to pull you out of that. They're going to give up. OK, they're not going to want to be in that energy. Um, and so sometimes you have to make a decision because you will then become more lonely, more isolated and more feel like a leper because nobody wants to be in your company. And I know that is harsh, really, really harsh. But would you want to spend time with you? That's what you have to ask yourself. Um, and if the answer to that is yes, then great. If the answer to that is no, then maybe we need to kind of switch that, that switch and say, I need to get back to the old me. What can I do to do that? What, what used to make me laugh? What used to bring, bring joy and fun into my life? Okay, so going into the end of um, Aries, and sorry, we're talking about Aries. There is going to be an Aryan, I'm getting the Aries card. There is going to be an Aryan character. Now, this is a personality of somebody who is very forthright, very opinionated. This person um, has got lots of knowledge, okay, of life knowledge. Uh, this person is either running their own 
own business or they're climbing up the ladder of success okay they are in a corporate energy this particular person and i'm not saying all aries people are that's what they're telling me my guides are telling me about this person now this person is going to be around you and i feel that you uh, at least one of you is going to go and visit this person to talk about moving um, so this, I think in America, they're called realtors. Here in um, England, they're called estate agents. So um, there is going to be this talk and discussion about moving. Um, I'm also seeing that um, I want to decorate or change the decor within my home. I feel as if I want to give it a fresh nut. I was thinking that today, actually. Um, but anyway, that's um, what I'm being told for you. Um, also, I want to learn something new. I want to develop my 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 brain. Um, the quickest way to get any brain misfunctions is to stop learning. Uh, for your for you to slow down. Okay, so keep your mind occupied and busy. Keep it active and keep it happy. OK, that will help you immensely. Um, there's somebody with a bit of a sting in their tail at the end of the week. And I feel that you'll, 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 you'll see it quickly. And I think that you can dodge that one. Um, and uh, yeah, you're not going to get involved with that. OK, it's not worth it. It really isn't. So that's what I see for Sagittarius. Okay, so um, this is going to be Aries now, 26th of February through to the 3rd of March, 2024. Um, this is the Cosmic deck that I use and highly recommend for a first deck. It's by Norbert Loesch. You see that? L-O-S-C-H-E. Um, and the other deck that I said had the four extra cards, uh, the Palace cards, was the Tarot of Dreams, and that's by Cairo Marchetti. So, yeah, both of those are very nice cards, yeah. All right, so Aries, let's have a look and see what they want to tell you. Okay. So I know that uh, Vera is an Aries and Linda Winger is an Aries. So if you're an Aries, you know, just uh, you can message me if you want to. See what you thought of the reading. Okay. That's the one. That's the one. Okay. If you wonder about steam, it's my coffee. It's just here. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm seeing a younger person around. This could be a child or it could be a childlike adult. And I feel that there's more tears or upset around them recently than there probably has been for a while. Um, I'm sensing that they're getting angry quickly. There seems to be an anger or rage inside them. That they don't know what to do about. OK, um, part of this um, situation is I need to let go and walk away. Um, um, this, this is toxic and no good for me. Um, and that's one of the questions that is going to be asked of their higher self. OK. What can I do to alleviate me from feeling as angry and upset as I have been? What can I do? What can I do? And uh, that is so, um, it's so apt at the moment for, um, it just feels as if I'm, my, my emotions are running riot all over the place. One minute I'm angry, next minute I'm tired, I'm, tired and the next minute i'm tearful okay so all over the place now if this is you aries then um you're going to be asking yourself what can i do to balance out this who is affecting me or what is affecting me okay and if it's someone if it's to do with someone else then you know you've got to kind of um maybe advise this to someone else um if it isn't you okay so, but uh, there is a real feeling of I'm done with this. I've got to draw a line under it. I can't keep fixating on this. I've got to move forward. Okay. So sometimes we can worry and worry and worry and it makes us ill. Um, and the person who's causing the worry is happy and, you know, skipping down the road happy. They're absolutely fine. Okay. By the middle of the week, middle of the week, I'm seeing some legalities, official documents 
or um, doing something official, okay, regarding your situation, good or bad, it doesn't have to be a bad thing, just because we're saying doing something officially. Um, but I am seeing um, there's a, a real feel of, you know, I don't want to be trapped in my situation for much longer. So there's still a bit of lingering kind of energy there, still a bit lingering. Um, and uh, it could be that you seek to find out where you stand legally or officially if you was to find, you know, official, um, you know, means of getting justice. OK, um, I can feel as if you're feeling a bit happier, though, because I can I can sense we're, we're more in a kind of um, a vibrant way, a, a lifting up kind of in your heart way. So um, so it's a good thing that you haven't kind of stayed in that energy of the beginning of the week. OK, now, was there another timeline for the beginning of the week? No, that felt like it was um, like a karmic thing, like a lesson that you're needing to learn. OK, so there, there wasn't another timeline with that. Um, so by the end of this next week, I'm seeing that you're going to find a subject that you absolutely are, it, you know, you're enthralled with, you're looking at it and you're thinking, oh, actually, I want to do this. I want to learn this. I want to experience this. So I'm going to, I'm going to start to buy books or I'm going to start to, you know, watch more YouTube clips on it. I'm going to start to do that um, because I really feel it's, it's going to be part of you taking control of your future and your life. Um, so rather than there being a stagnant energy, there is now a real hyped up feeling of let's go. Let's go, spirit guides. Um, you've read me. Um, you've led me to the right place, the right time and the right people. Um, and if you haven't met those right people yet, you will. OK, that's what will happen. Now, the Wheel of Fortune means changes, OK? There are some changes um, in your life. These changes are going to grow and they are, are going to help you, OK? They are beneficial to you, all right? So there you go. That's what I see, OK? That's what I see for you, all right? So um, I'm hoping that helps you and, um, you know, enjoy the week and just uh, that we have to have lessons. That's it. We have to have lessons in life. And uh, I had a 3D lesson that uh, I nearly got dragged into. Well, I did. I, I dragged myself into um, a past um, fallout that I had with somebody when there was no need to. I thought it was hinting, you know, there was a conversation that was hinting back there. But actually, I had the choice to skim past it. Um, I dive into the past and into an argument it's like Ali you just you know you didn't need to do that you, you could have just taken the high ground and just carried on so I learned my lesson so sometimes we have to learn these lessons in life we do it's it's difficult but we do okay so that is the um Aries okay right so to Scorpios now okay and you're probably sick of hearing me say it but just for my recording because I like to record them for my my daughter so my daughter Rhiannon hi Rhiannon so proud of you and uh, all my kids so proud of them only two I've got I've only got two but I'm so proud of them <laughs> anyways um so yeah, Rhiannon is Scorpio my mum and me are Pisces and my eldest is uh, Cancerian so welcome to anybody who's found the channel um, and is new, um, maybe because I had an interview with uh, Danny Henderson. So I'm just so grateful for the new people coming over. So um, welcome, welcome. Let's get rid of my printer. <laughs> OK, I'm just going to tune in now to Scorpios. Okay, so they're showing me that um, it's the situation that you find yourself in where you're feeling frustrated. You're feeling as if I'm trying to find a way around an obstacle. I've come across this obstacle. I don't know a way around it. 
Um, I feel as if I'm needing more energy to do something about it or to try something different. Um, there is a, you know, walking on eggshells. So, you know, you have the eight of swords here. Can you see this? So this is where we're tippy toeing around the situations and this person is walking away or maybe you're thinking of walking away from this situation and you don't know what to do. I know that we can take this, but uh, can you guys, Scorpios, take this? So the, the lion there represents uh, frustration or anger um, and it's behind those wands there. So sometimes we have to release our tension um, in order for us to be calm again and relaxed again and to try and ground um, again, okay? And uh, the boredom, restlessness. So um, sometimes we can, we can um, in life, we can overdo it, okay? And then we go, oh, I can't do any more, can't do any more. Um, I do it myself. So um, when Sometimes I'm, I get lots and lots of bookings in and I'm, and I'm like, you know, doing kind of five or six a day. And it's like, it's too much sometimes. I don't, don't work every day. Um, I work two, two days a, a week, um, one 12 till 12, you know, 12 hours. Okay, I, I do. So, you know, you can see, you know, sometimes it's busy when you're self-employed, sometimes they're not. But then it goes through phases where you're really, really, really busy. And sometimes you can, I have to be very careful not to send that to the universe. I'm so tired, I need a rest. If I do that, if I say that, the universe dries up the readings. That's how it works with me. And um, sometimes, you know, we, we do it accidentally. Uh, my my Rhea is uh, six months, probably six and a half months pregnant. So she's, you know, she's feeling it, bless her. So, yeah, there's a bit of frustration there at the beginning of the week. By the middle of the week, by the middle of the week, everything is go, go, go. Everything is completely different to how it has been, okay? It's a real turnaround because we have the chariot, which is looking at things in black and white, maybe having to analyze financially where to improve things or what to do differently, okay? There seems to be a move card, the three of pentacles, that can be moving, boxes, changes, um, you know, you know, changing over things, you know, fresh starts, that sort of thing, okay? But it can also be climbing the ladder of, your successes okay as well and um, so it's very very good now we have the temperance card which means that sometimes we have to work on the fact that we need to get this balanced now has it has your situation been out of balance for some time and the universe is saying you deserve more you deserve better and uh, in which case what can we do to, to kind of push you to, to make it better, to make the changes that need to happen. And uh, sometimes we get those little hints and nags um, from our spirit guides where we should have done something earlier. We, we should have changed this or done that. And then, and then all of a sudden, it's like the universe will then go wham, okay, or give you a bit of a shake um, so that you then change things up. And I feel that this is something that is going on with you Scorpios out there okay or whoever's listening to this this may represent to you too because they do plant seeds like i said um within there so um at the end of the week you actually have your card this is why i love the cosmic deck is because they're done for you the astrology signs otherwise you've got to try and work it out yourself so there's your scorpio there okay the prince of swords he's supposed to be johnny depp as well they're supposed to be um movie stars old and new yeah um, so, yeah, so it's, it's like um, you've got this intensity with you. So you can be very intense and you can be very, very focused. But if you see or feel rejection coming, you tend to reject first. It's a reaction. It's like, oh, I don't care anyway, then I'll sod you then kind of energy. But I do feel as if we've got this triumph. We've got this public acclaim. We've got this recognition of achievements, you know. Um, so this is where people are very satisfied with your work, um, where, you know, other people are noticing that you're trying hard. Um, it can mean that you have fulfilled 
um, you know, some sort of uh, challenge and uh, other people are saying, well done. OK, now you are a bit hard on yourself, though, because you think I could have done better. I should have done better. Um, but make sure that you, first of all, before you do that criticise thing, please talk to your inner child nicely and maybe, you know, be happy for your inner child. Um, and, uh, you know, your inner child, if you give your inner child a compliment and you look in the mirror and you say, we did really good today. You, there's a feeling that you get inside. Whereas if you scold it um, and say, oh, you're rah, 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 um, you, you can feel a drop in your confidence as well. So, yeah, it works both ways. All right. So there you go. That's what I see for our lovely Scorpios. So um, this is for Pisces. OK, mum, this is for you and this is for me and for other Pisces out there. OK, so uh, I like this. I sh it's a shame we're not doing this live because I do like I do like to find out and chat with everybody at the same time. I do like to do that, but never mind. We've had to do it this way today. Um, hopefully by next week, I'll be back to doing it live. OK, so just going to tune in now to Pisces. Here we go. OK, so the beginning of the week, um, there are a few secrets. I feel as if I've got this. Um, it's like a person that comes into your life. Now, for some of you, it will be linked with love life um, and it will be a little bit of a surprise um, because I'm seeing that, you know, when you kind of have that 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 zing moment when your eyes lock. Um, it might be that you haven't, that this isn't going to be with, um, you know, it's not going to go anywhere. Does that mean this it might just be, you know, a bit of a, a, a fancy, of course. Um, but um, it will definitely stir up some feelings. OK, I'm seeing that. Um, it could be that you haven't particularly liked anybody for a long time and then you finally do OK meet somebody which usually means that your energy is changing and things are starting to open up as well um, with, you know, your heart. OK, that could be that. Um, they are saying there's going to be some travel plans. I feel that you have decided that you're wanting to go and visit somebody that doesn't perhaps live near you. Um, or, you know, you want to get away for the weekend, maybe with your with your um, with your partner. You know, it can be that. Sometimes it can be, you know, for other people who aren't single, it can be looking at your partner with a different energy and where you might not have been getting on as well. You're kind of going into that um, stirring up old feelings in a, in a good way. Um, so, yeah, a bit of spark is coming into your lives. Um, so for others of you who's nothing to do with love life, then this could mean a friendship. This could mean somebody who you think, oh, I could really do with a friend like that. Um, that is somebody who I would hang out with and I'd love to go for a coffee with them. And, you know, we'd be we'd be good friends. So the universe has heard you. The universe is making that happen. OK, it really is. Now, there will be a secret that will be around you, kind of haunting you a little bit. Um, it keeps kind of buzzing around your your head like an annoying fly and you're trying to swat it away. Um, and I feel that um, this may make you feel as if I can't handle this secret. Uh, maybe somebody has revealed something to you and it's a bit of a heavy load. OK, so the middle of the next week, um, there is somebody out there. I'm seeing mischievousness. I'm seeing naughtiness. I'm seeing kind of doing things, you know, getting involved with things that you would never usually do. But you found yourself in that situation. Um, I can see that there is uh, a lot of money that has been spent out. It could be that's your mischievousness, that you're having a bit of a spend up. Um, I feel as if you're treating yourself to something that you wouldn't normally treat yourself to. Um, but it is with a with a giggle in your heart, I'm seeing, OK, that you're saying, oh, I'll sod it. I, I'm, I'm an independent person. I can do this myself. I can I can uh, um, I can do this. 
So um, they're all there are lovely. Look at these cards coming out together. Um, I had to take, in fact, I need to take a photograph of these um, for t for teaching purposes. Sometimes there's a, a combination of cards that you think, wow, okay, if that isn't telling you a, uh, um, a story about that, see if I can do this. Um, I'll show you what they are in a minute. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, this to me is is you've got taken a leap of faith. Okay, so this is the end of the week for Pisces. You're going to be taking a leap of faith, a gut feeling. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm doing it. I don't know if it's good or bad, but I just know I'm doing it. Okay. Um, look at these cards for onwards and upwards and going for it. I mean, you, you know, getting these cards going, you know, that is, you can see why I took photographs of that. Okay, so there is something that is, you are going to catapult yourself to this challenge. You aren't going to hold back. You are going to make sure that you do this um, in a positive way, in a lighthearted kind of energy way. And uh, yeah, so whatever you are doing that leap of faith that you are taking at the end of next week pisces if you are at all worried about it or thinking to yourself should i is that the right thing to do then it's a big 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 yes okay it's a big yes okay um so this is the um the little words that i wanted to give for you In intention and the other side is expansiveness expansiveness okay so um just was drawn to pick one of those at this time because this is quite a big thing for pisces okay so look out for for that pisces woohoo what for a good week <laughs> sometimes it's not always good <laughs> this is good all right so this is for Cancerians now for the 26th of February through to the 3rd of March uh, 2024. This is for my beautiful daughter, Meggie. I'm so proud of you, Meggie. Um, so yeah, and for other Cancerians out there, okay? So let me know. This could be for your sun, moon or rising sign. It could be for whoever's watching this. There may be a message in here for you as well. So I'm just going to quieten my mind and just tune in to Cancerians. Okay, I didn't want me to stop shuffling. Um, I am seeing a lot of arts and crafts around, okay, so I feel that there may be um, a need to kind of uh, let your inner child kind of start to play, um, doing things that you know your inner child enjoys. Um, so sometimes that can be a walk in the woods. Sometimes that can be um, anything at all. It just feels as if there needs to be um, conversations going on with that inner child of yours, Cancerians. Okay, so um, standing your ground. Wow, you are not backing down. You are being very stubborn. You are being very much, you know, I know my rights. I know where I stand. I know what I want. You know, don't push me. Okay, so a really strong feeling of um, pushing back on authoritiveness. Um, somebody who's being authority, um, you know, pushing their authority at you, I want to say. Um, now, you are um, not afraid to stand up when you know that you're in the right, which you do. You know that you're in the right. Um, this does take it out of you, though. So you can be as tough as you like, but later on you feel kind of um, low energy or you feel kind of like a, a heaviness, OK, um, that does drain you. Um, you are going to be seeking more information or expanding out uh, where you can find more information, um, stepping forward in a different way, which I really feel is going to be good for you. OK, I feel as if this is a, it's like teaching yourself more of, of um, more information, OK, more ammunition to maybe um, push back at this situation whatever this situation is um, but you definitely are in the right and you definitely are going to um, 
you know, keep going. OK, that's what this feels like. Uh, justice is needed. OK, so as we move on into the middle of the week um, for Cancerians, um, you've got the hanged man, OK, um, with the lover's card. OK, so the hanged man is where life is upside down. Everything is kind of in limbo. OK, it's in limbo. Um, and then we've got linked with love life. So there seems to be um, a bit of repair job needed in a relationship of some kind. Now, this relationship could be friendship, family or love life. But um, there, this I'm going to do it in separate bits because they're giving me clairvoyant information for each one. OK, so if this is to do with a family member or a friend, OK, um, this could involve their love life or could involve your love life, something like that. OK, they're being dramatic about. OK, and, um, you know, regarding love life, I can see that you're trying to shield yourself. You're trying to protect your feelings so that you don't get hurt. Or it could be that you don't want to upset the other person that you, you know, don't particularly want to be um, in the situation and therefore you know, so yeah, there seems to be a bit of awkwardness around that, okay, um, but um, you have been trying to see things from the other person's point of view, um, you haven't just kind of been blinkered and saying or well, sod you to other people, you know, you've really tried to be understanding, um, especially to this one person you've tried, um, but there are times that you may need to express yourself and get this off your chest um, and maybe, you know, other people can start to see things maybe from your point of view as well, okay? Um, so by the end of the week, the end of the week, we've got that, that Scorpio card there. So this could be somebody who has got a bit of a sting in their tail, OK, and I've got this kind of lioness energy and protecting my cubs kind of energy. So maybe there is some issues regarding your cubs. Maybe there is issues regarding a family member and somebody that's vulnerable or a friendship where someone's vulnerable. Or it could be for some people a partner and you feel that your partner is not able to stick up for themselves and perhaps needs your help to do it. OK, but there is definitely this protective energy going on this next week. Um, you are going to deal with it. It will start to kind of, you know, um, get get going, um, get finished up. Um, I do want to shuffle some more cards because that's left a little bit kind of um, it's like open. OK, at the end of that week. So let me just tune in and see if it's going to be resolved um, by beginning of the following week we don't want it to continue okay all right so yeah you're going to get bored about that falling out or this disruption you're going to get bored with it or the other person's going to get bored with it and say oh we're being silly this you know we don't want to fall out over that that's not worth it okay um let's go on the love vibrational energy which is the highest energy and um let's just clear the air okay so yeah it will be fine OK, Cancerians. Now, obviously, the, there is a higher timeline. Let's see if there is. So you don't even have to get into this drama. OK, sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. So let's have a look. All right. So taking control of the situation, holding back my anger and my frustrations, um, not allowing kind of that inner kind of frustrations to come out. Um, trying to keep those at bay, okay? Um, but you you need to channel it somewhere. So if you're angry with someone or about someone, then what are you going to do? And that could be that you take on a, a new project, okay? That project could be clearing the cupboards out, or it could be sorting out the kids' toys, or it could be, you know, painting an, a room um, or making something of some sort. So, yeah. That, that is a way of helping you. There's also going to be something that you can do that will actually get you some money in as well, which is nice. Um, there is going to be some, some lovely talk about, um, you know, 
um, holidays and things. OK, so yes, definitely another timeline. OK, so you can see all the cards are kind of picking up on another one, which is good. OK, so Ace of Pentacles, new energy, new money. OK, new plans. So, yeah, you can bypass that shit if you want. <laughs> so, yeah, choices, choices. <laughs> so there you go. Um, that is for Cancerians. OK, so Taurus. Taurus, Taurus. Let's have a look for Taurus. Feels good. Okay. Right. Okay, a little bit of rejection coming up at the beginning of the week. And I feel that this is because there is a misunderstanding. Communication lines are a little bit out of sync. Um, I'm seeing that you're going to need to deal with it straight away rather than let it fester, because if it does fester, then um, the misunderstanding is going to get worse. OK, so um, it may be awkward to kind of uh, bring the subject up, but um, you won't regret it. OK, um, they're talking about um, dealing with a lot of other things, things that have been kind of left undone. OK, you know, well, I haven't completed that or I haven't done this. I should do this and I should do that. You know, so it's like writing lists um, or speak your lists into your phone. I've done that many, many, many times. Um, and, you know, you never know your spirit guides do help you with that list and add bits and pieces on. It's like, oh, you've got to remember this and remember that as well. OK, there is a celebration. I feel as if it's a mini celebration because it's something that you didn't realise until the last minute that you've actually succeeded or you might have won a bit of money or somebody kind of is congratulating you. And it's like this like um, it's like a mini celebration. It's like, it's like, oh, really? Yeah. Do you like what I did? Or, oh, you know, I'm so happy that you. Um, you've told me that it's made me feel good so yeah there's something like that that's going to happen that will actually encourage you to carry on to do more of that thing that you are good at okay um, now these things they they do it's like a drip feed and say if there's another couple of people the following week who say hey I really like what you did it gives you that extra you know and that's how the universe works to get you excited in um, completing or doing something that you know maybe is on that bucket list of yours okay so by the middle of next week there's a bit of a sulking person here I'm seeing this person sulking um, there's a lot of change going on there's a lot of disruption in the house in their life um, this change might be good change or it might be just essential change you know we can't help it you know this is how it is um, I do feel as if this is a child or a childlike person. OK, so this doesn't have to be a direct child. But I do feel that this um, this is um, abnormal behavior, if you know what I mean. It isn't the normal. OK, and it isn't their normal. All right. So this is a little bit of I've got to kind of look into this to find out what actually is going on with them. It could be that this situation that they are in is you know, they're sulking about that situation when actually there's something else, perhaps a bit deeper, that's going on. Um, for one child in particular, I do feel as if this child is in trouble and does really, really need you to ask the questions. Um, the worst thing that I've ever been told uh, as a mum, and I'm so grateful that they did tell me so that I could pass it on to you guys, um was there was something really traumatic that went on in one of my children's lives and later on I said why didn't you tell me love please why didn't you tell me and it's like I don't I couldn't find the words I didn't know how to say it I uh, didn't want to upset the happy home didn't want to do that um but mum if you'd have asked me just a little bit more and and carried on I would have told you I'm just passing that on to you guys, whoever's watching this. Sometimes we just have to ask a few more times in the right circumstances 
but make sure you're on your own. Okay, make sure that you're on your own when you ask, you know, and no, no one's going to be coming in, okay, to the bedroom or no one's going to be kind of coming home from work, you know. So pick your moments, but do have conversations with um, your younger children because I do feel as if a lot of them are going through stuff and they don't know how to express it. Um you know, most people know that I, you know, me and the school system don't see eye to eye on a lot of things. Um, they seem to be able to, you know, detain your child, tell you what to do with your child. Um, you know, you're not allowed to do this. You're not allowed to do that. Your child has to have this rule and this regulation. I don't like it. I really don't like it. It's like you're telling me about my child. How dare you? That I get in my... Um, but please watch out for this isolation thing that they're pushing on children. I had a very interesting conversation with um, my grandson and um, he's, uh, he's 16 and uh, the, his friend sat in with him. He just popped around to see me. Um, he comes around to help me out sometimes with jobs that I can't do, bless him. So he's a really good, really good boy. Anyway, so he, um, he's, they were sitting there having a chat. And they were saying, oh, they, they were talking between themselves, saying, oh, I've got to go to isolation and really can't stand it. It really triggers me. And um, they were then talking to me about it. I said, what do you mean isolation? They said, well, we're, isolation is that you're stuck, you're being put into a room on your own. And you're not allowed to see anyone, speak to anyone your meals are brought up to you with no conversation and um, you have to be completely isolated from nine in the morning until three in the uh, in the afternoon isolation does that sound like a prison isolation to you um, now that's the sort of things they're doing at schools at this moment so um, you know now the boy said I was I, I, it really triggers me because um, I got bipolar. I've got um, I've got depression. I have to take kind of um, tablets for my depression, and I really felt like one time sticking a pencil in my. Face. I was like, I, I was so shocked. I was so shocked, and I thought, well, yeah, if a child has got depression, then they're going to have all sorts of so. I don't know where this is coming from, and I'm sorry, Taurus, that it's come up in your reading, but these three cards have triggered me to, to think that, okay? So there is a child out there who really does need to talk to somebody, okay? And that somebody could be you, okay? And, uh, you know, it is worth asking that question and don't get to the point where I am. Believe me, I asked a lot of questions. I did, but I didn't ask it enough, okay which could have stopped the problem from happening again and again okay so um so yeah i'm just going to leave it there but sorry to get so deep but sometimes we have to address these things so the end of this next week for taurus um i can see um there's a it's a situation where you know, we're all going to be facing, and I feel this is like a global thing, but definitely for Taurus as well, where you're going to decide who you want to spend your time with. Um, who brings you, what person or persons bring you joy, happiness, and um, motivation and excitement? And what uh, group of friends or, or person brings you down down and down okay and so you know we're having to learn that now that doesn't mean to say your friend who is going through a terrible time has to be left on their own no that does not mean that that means that we help the people that we that need help but you can't spend all day every day doing that you do need to have your own crowd of people so that they can bring you up um as well so as and that gives you more energy to then put back into your friend who needs help. So it is a circle and really understand that the circle doesn't work unless you have that teamwork 
in other ways. And I feel that uh, you're definitely going to be making some, some big decisions about that, okay, by the end of next week, Taurus. Okay, so that's what I see for. There we go for Virgos, 26th of February through to the 3rd of March, 2022. Okay, so I'm tuning in right now for Virgos for now up until the 3rd of March, 2024. It's my birthday coming up on the 18th of March, but before that is my mum's on the 9th. So we've got lots of celebrating to do um, in March. So celebrating, and there's my celebration card. So Virgos, there's something you're celebrating. Um, funny, I should be thinking about celebrating, and then the card turns over. Um, I feel that there is going to be some plans. I feel as if we're talking in the future. So this is a far off plan. So say Virgos um, that you know it's somebody's um, big, big like a numbered birthday and it's going to be um, coming up, say, September. And um, but you've got a lot to organize because it's a big thing. Thing. You're going to involve all the family um, or you're going to involve lots of friends and everybody's going to get together and things like that. So that's what I'm seeing. OK, the organization of that. OK, now that may not apply to everybody. So I've got another um, message for the people that that does not apply to. Um, so I feel that the, the wheels of life are turning and moving forward. You're starting to realize that you are prouder of yourself than you realize than you've ever been before um, and this is a really good thing because what it does is it means that your inner child can have some recognition and reward which is really needed okay it's really important so i'm seeing this being kind of like playing out and i feel this is going to be very very good okay for you okay i'm getting excited and uh, my inner child feels as if um you know Mummy loves me. OK, so um, think of that, uh, mummy or daddy. OK, um, so, yeah. When we um, in, in life, when we have a compliment, it resonates with us and it's great. But unless we compliment ourselves or we accept that compliment, it doesn't go anywhere. Just saying. OK, if you want to grow your confidence, then we need to accept the compliments that we do. Now, I know I'm not great at it either, nor is Greg. So um, we're fine ones to talk, but we are starting to learn and we are starting to um, speak about it a bit more. OK, so instead of saying, oh, it's just an old. Oh, no, thank you. Thank you for saying that. That's lovely. You know, we're backtracking a bit. OK, so there's something upside down going on. OK, you're looking at things from a different angle, different situation. I feel as if you're going to be trying something you've never tried before. Experiences in life. OK, somebody dares you to do something or somebody says, you know, I, I know that you wouldn't do this. It's like I might. I will. Sod it. I will. I'm going to show you. Um, so I do feel as if the uh, there is an adventurous side of yours bursting to come out um, with new um, energies. Now, we've got this um, unshackling yourself from the everyday boring um, life, the routine. Um, so I do feel as if there is somebody who's saying the weather is getting better around me. Um, I need to get myself out. I need to do um, something more or I need to socialize more. So I'm going to join a group or I'm going to reach out or I'm going to start that that. Um, um, what are they? They're trying to they give me three different things at the same time. So you both slow down. So for somebody, it will be kind of like, you know, I'm going to sign up for that salsa dancing class or, you know, other people, it will be like, I'm going to sign up to learn French or I'm going to sign up to. So it's going to be quite something a bit, bit different, something that you haven't done before. It's definitely a new thing. OK, they're saying um, it will break you out of your your stuck feeling, Virgos. It really will. And 
for you Virgos, you do like to be able to think ahead. So whatever you're doing will have good effects for you in the future too. Okay, so it really will. You do or you have been getting bored recently. So there's only four um, aces in a deck of cards. And you guys just got, um, I read in threes. So you've got two aces and this card, which is my rerouting, planning ahead. And um, it's my Virgo card. That is my Virgo um that's my Virgo uh, personality card. Okay, she's uh, which pop, which uh, movie star do you think she is? Because they've they're all based on movie stars. These are. So have you seen her in some of the black and white films? Maybe. Okay. So anyway, that is when we feel as if we are uprooted, or we feel as if we might move. Um, we know we've got two aces, which is the beginning of. So it could be the beginning of you know, a conversation about moving or a conversation about, you know, redirecting your energy, uh, changing a job or changing the way money comes in or out. Uh, but you're definitely working something out. And this is the new beginnings, new ambition and new emotion. OK, so this definitely this means a lot to you in inside. OK, these changes or it's an emotional thing that you are um, having to go th through because of the changes. OK, even if we choose ourselves, we've still got to sometimes, you know, feel a little bit like um, nostalgic, I suppose, when we're moving forward. So there you go. That's what I see for uh, Capricorn. Sorry, Virgos. Capricorn's next. OK, so I love. Uh, Streamyard because um, when I and, and also doing it like this um, because it helps with my pain so I can have a sit back and I can have, have a rest in between. Uh, spot the difference. I've done something different, and wonder if you can guess what it is. Okay, wonder if you can guess what it is. No peeking, no going backwards. See if you can notice. <laughs> anyway, so this is Capricorns. Capricorns, let's have a see, see what's going on with you. Okay, I'm tuning in now. Right, beginning of the week. Beginning of the week, um, I feel as if you've trapped yourself in the corner. OK, you've trapped yourself in a situation where you actually don't know how to get out of it. Um, I can feel that you might have um, definitely for one of you, you're stuck in a relationship that you never thought you would actually be stuck in. Um, and you don't know how to tell the person without upsetting them. OK, this isn't for all of you. This is for one or two people might not even be for a Capricorn. Like I said, I do throw in other stuff as well. Me and my guides kind of go, there's somebody who needs to hear this. OK, I feel that I'm getting more and more depressed about it. And I feel that the person involved is actually feeling sadder and and more upset actually for you not dealing with the issue um they're feeling as if you're withdrawing away and they're trying to work out what they've done wrong when there's actually nothing that they've done wrong it's just that they may be the wrong person for you they may not make you feel happy and i'm sensing that this is confusing and you don't know what to do that's one person or one situation. I'm just going to tune into the others as well. Um, so again, I feel as if you're cornered into a situation. And that situation could be where one friend has asked you to stand up for them. And the other friend has then asked you to stand up for them. And it's like, well, what do I do? Or it could be a family member. Or it could be somebody who is trying to uh, manipulate or you know, get you to see their side of things, you know, there's been an argument. So anyway, I, it's like you just don't know what to do for the best. OK, um, I feel as if there is an idea that will come to you uh, coming up 
to the middle of next week and that will actually resolve a lot of the issues or maybe for the first scenario give you the courage to actually move on and to um, leave that person to find their forever person to find the person that is going to love cherish and adore them the way that you want to be loved cherished and adored by someone else so yeah i feel as if you're going to be making some very big decisions but they're all all good um, you can see here that you're feeling tormented by your emotions. So you don't want to reject anybody here, but equally you don't want to reject someone. So you'd rather be rejected or reject them. Um, each one of these cups represents an emotion. OK, so and each one also represents somebody who wants something from you. It's like, well, um, you know, what about me? How, do, how wh what's going to happen to me? What's this? What's that? And you're then feeling in the middle here, so frustrated here. And, um, you know, you don't know which way to go or what to do for the best. OK, so I feel as if, you know, there is somebody who's really struggling with their um, conscience and their conscience is kind of um, making them, um, I don't know, try and sort the situation out ASAP. That's what it's making them do. Oh, I just noticed you've got two sevens. Sevens indicate crossroads times um, in tarot, okay? Fives are usually kind of the battle, but sevens are usually the choices. Um, and so that's, I've explained what the emotional choice is like, but let's look at the financial choice. So you can see the pentacles represent money. So all this money um, that you've been coming, that's been coming into your life, it's kind of sitting on barren land. It's not really doing anything. It's not growing or doing much at all. So what do you do? Do you carry on? doing that do you carry on pouring money and energy into um, a situation that is not getting anywhere or do you choose something else look at the two pentacles here so it could be that you choose to plant your money somewhere else do something a bit different um, i really feel that's going to be something big okay look so big changes and gambles and things emotionally and big gambles and things financially these aren't advice cards these are things that you are going to do these are pathways that are opening up timelines that are opening up for you okay it's really important um the other card that goes with those two sevens was the five of swords and this one says i'm going to put up my boundaries um i need to um, make sure that i'm going to be okay in amongst all of this chaos in, in amongst taking these risks and the gambles and things like that so do i have a way out of this situation if i don't like it if i don't want to be in it you know if i chose wrong can i come back or what shall i do so there could be a bit of a selfish energy um, around you that, uh, you know, you you may be kind of laughed at a town with, um, really. Um, so it's like trying to say, can I have my cake and can I eat it as well, so to speak. So there may be um, there may be a real tough decision time. OK, that is coming up um, for you. Um, you know, sometimes I you're in this situation, but you it might be someone else is playing the lead role um so it means they they are the ones that are taking the gamble um or wanting to take the gamble and you're the one going you know choose me you know cho choose me so yeah it's a it's a tricky one very complex very tricky capricorns um so you know so this you know some of you will be love life some other people it will be friendships or family or a work, a work situation, okay? Um, by the end of the week, I've got looking after myself and wrapping myself up in cotton wool. I'm deciding that I'm, you know, I've got to sort out my own life before I can begin um, to get involved with another person's life. And I really feel this so strong. Your spirit guides are shouting this from the rooftops. They are saying, um, you know, don't involve someone else in more drama, okay, than's needed, because it's just it's just not fair. 
um, you know, you're playing with other people's emotions. Um, so if you decide um, to take the path that is a little bit daunting, a little bit scary, but is best for everybody, then I'm seeing this celebration kind of energy and this public acclaim and, and triumph and other people saying, I really admire you for uh, for doing that. Not many people would have been able to do that or to, you know, to be brave enough, but you have done it. Um, so I do feel that majority of you Capricorns will be making that decision and will surprise yourself and surprise others um, in the most amazing way the most lovely way it's going to be great um, so in the meantime you are going to be healing you know you've got the seven of swords which is wrapping yourself up in cotton wool okay it's it's saying I need to heal you then have the stepping forward onto new ground this is all different to you but look this is your spirit guides your loved ones they all they're saying Oh my goodness, they did it. Maybe that was your um, maybe that was your lesson all in all. That was your lesson and you completed it. You got an A plus. You got an A plus out there. Okay, well done. So there you go. That's what I see for Capricorns. Big challenges for you financially and emotionally. Okay, so Aquarius, Aquarius. Oh, let me record this for my son-in-law. There's a couple of Aquarius people that I know. So I, will, I like to send over the little recordings. You could do that yourself. Just record this, your little reading and play it several times, you know, in the week, see how it goes. Um, yeah, so anyway, this is Aquarius and um, this is for all the Aquarians out there. So this is the 26th of February through to the 3rd of March, um, 2024. Okay, so I'm concentrating now, seeing what your week's gonna be like. Right. Okay, so we straight away have the travel card, um, the Eight of Wands. Okay, so the Eight of Wands is go, go, go. Nothing's stopping you, go, go, go. Um, you know, there is, it's like um, having a clear road ahead, um, a clear road ahead that you can see exactly where you're going and you can see that there is an excitement about that road ahead. Um, look out for new people around you, new people that are going to be giving you the right information at the right time. I can see there being a bit of a dilemma and maybe there's a little bit of temptation that is around you, okay, at the um, the beginning of the week. But I really feel as if you've got your dissecting kind of energy and it's like, it is not worth my while. Does that make sense to do this? It's like you go full circle with that. Now, for some people, temptation will be to do with their love life and some people temptation will be to do with, you know, um, I should go straight home, but I think I'm just going to go for that one pint with my mates um, or, you know, something. Does that make sense? So it doesn't have to be something big. OK, but I can see that kind of, you know, dissecting that that uh, moment of, of weakness. OK, there. OK. Um, so I've got the reminiscing with somebody from your past, somebody that you haven't seen for a long time. This person is um, introducing themselves or they're coming back. This can be somebody like, um, you know, your uh, family member or something or a friendship. OK, because this feels as if it's like you were really close at one point and then you drifted and they drifted and then you're back in touch so yeah it can be as simple as that um but i can feel that this is going to be a leap of faith that you're taking uh taking a risk or taking a challenge okay and uh, doing it it will appear quite suddenly this um, person from your past coming in this will be like well one minute they're not there the next minute they've you know, message to you. So it could be as simple as a Facebook message or reaching out as a, um, or bumping into them in a supermarket, you know, 
text message. So something like that will be going on there. Okay, breaking free from restrictions. Um, you've been held back, you've been restricted, you have not um, done what you've wanted to do for a while, and your love life is going to get far more spicy. Okay, um, now obviously, if you haven't got a love life, then this would be um, your life is getting spicier, your life is getting more excitable, more um, like, like a sense of adventure is coming up. Um, I can see that you need to unshackle yourself from any restraints that you've had. Um, sometimes this, uh, we might get attention from the opposite sex and we, we kind of go into that, you know, um, it boosts your, your love life up. So sometimes it, it uh, makes you feel, you know, if you haven't been feeling um, sexy or attractive and then somebody finds you sexy or attractive, attractive um it can then work wonders to your love life you could then you know uh, with that added extra confidence um you know spend more time with your partner so to speak um but uh, there is an um a breaking free of restrictions so there might have been something that has stopped you from uh being together with your uh, with your loved one, um, and now there is no uh, no restrictions. So, could there have been a complication with that friendship of yours? Um, and is that is it now resolved? Um, could you have had a difficult conversation that has now got better? So, when I look at this whole week, um, this is all about one thing. I really do feel there is drama but it's teaching drama. So I don't feel as if we have to look at a double timeline, okay? Um, the temptation can get you into trouble. So it's a choice that you make, okay, at the beginning of the week. If it's something minor and something silly, um, then, you know, sometimes our inner child makes us break the rules. Um, and at other times, um, if it's a big thing, Give yourself a little bit of time rather than race in and make a decision about things um, is the advice the guides are saying. Um, but you will take a leap of faith. I feel as if there are some holiday plans. I can see travel or ho holiday plans. And I feel the excitement is building within a friendship or within a relationship. Um, you are going to be out celebrating with your, uh, with your friends or you're, you've got to get together, okay? That would make sense with this card because you've got the Three of Cups. Now, Three of Cups um, in tarot, it looks romantic, but there's always um, a link to friendships, okay? So you have the Nine of Cups, which is reuniting with somebody familiar. You can see they're very familiar with each other, very trusting with each other. They know each other very well, okay? But that could be a friend or it could be a family member that you don't talk to anymore, okay? So each one of these doesn't have to be love life, okay? Just say it, it doesn't have to be. Okay, so there you go. That's what I got for Aquarius. So Gemini's, Gemini's. Okay, 26th of February through to the 3rd of March. Just tuning in now. All right. Let's have a look. Okay, so the... Um, We've got the movement card for you as well. We've got the eight of wands, which can be to do with travel, because literally they're traveling. It can be to do with running fast, um, and wands is ambition. So this, this is running fast towards your ambition, towards something that you desire or something that you are um, excited about and, and want to push forward with. Um, now, we have the um, needing to be looked after. So um, is there somebody who can nurture you or look after you, you know, perhaps take care of you in, in, in a motherly way? 
Um, and sometimes that's all we need is somebody to kind of, you know, phone us um, or, or make contact with us just to say, hey, you know, I've been thinking of you, you know, is there anything you need? Um, can I get you this? Or, you know, so I do feel as if there is going to be um, more of that connection. So there's somebody close to you anyway, um, I feel coming your way. Um, now, the Ace of Swords is a, a new way of thinking. So um, have you decided to change up the way that you um, receive love or how you receive um, gratitude or how you receive, um, you know, um, good news? So there's something that is going to be changing and switching with you. Now, when we've been pushed down, when we have been kicked and shoved, uh, when we've had our hopes built up and then crashed down again, when all of this has happened, we can have a tendency to get cynical or to stop believing that something nice is actually coming, uh, which then actually blocks it from coming. So it does you no favours whatsoever. So um, is there something that you need to do regarding maybe mothering your own inner child? Maybe um, this is um, a time to let go of your disappointment and to allow the healing to begin. Um, because I really feel that um, you, you can get through this. You really can. Um, um, because I feel my guides are saying to me, this can literally change your life. It can switch, switch, switch things over. Okay, so it's like thinking the opposite way where you kind of go, oh, nothing else is going on. That will be lovely today. I'll, I'll really love that. Or, you know, and then if it doesn't happen, oh, well, okay, perhaps it will happen tomorrow or, you know, we'll see, we'll see. So there's an energy about it. And I really feel that... Um, there is some changes that you're making. Um, there's some feminine changes because we have the Empress, which is uh, the feminine. And then the middle of the week, we have the Emperor, which is masculine. So masculine is taking charge of my life financially, but taking charge of my life to do with, you know, the practical things in my life. I need jobs done. And if I can't do them, then I'm going to get someone in to do them for me. Um, I'm going to take charge and earn some extra money. I'm going to take charge and do this. So, And then we've got the feminine side of things, which is I need to look after me. I need to treat myself to something nice. Um, or I need to kind of make nice food that my, my inner child loves. You know, watch that movie that I've wanted to do wanted to see so yeah there's stuff like that that is going on and I feel that you're work, really working on yourself the beginning of the week and the middle of the week as well um yeah so you're trying to get yourself out of a, a hole okay or you're trying to help someone else get themselves out of that that dip okay now if there is anybody who you feel needs to be on the healing list emotionally physically mentally um pets as well please let me know. Um, I am, you know, constantly doing new sheets. So, you know, there's never going to be, um, you know, no room for people. Okay. So these are really, really working and don't laugh at me, me arts and crafts, but this is working. See, I've got my, my, my new healing list there. You saw ready to go. Okay. Um, because I really feel as if there's going to be a flood of people that are needing it. So, I've kept that open for whether it's a seven or an eight or whatever it is. So, yeah, so um, let me know, guys. Um, just reach out to me and just on the website, just leave your name, okay, or the name of your person. I've had families put in there um, with, you know, like five different members of the family plus the family dog. You know, I've had that come in and that's all okay, absolutely okay for that. Um, so... And um, to do with your home, there's something about your home, Gemini's, that is getting on your nerves. And I feel that you're then also going to be sorting that out in your masculine way. OK, so I do see that. So we all have a neg um, um, a masculine and we all have um, a feminine. We have the both. We can switch to the either one. We can do that. Um, so the end of this month, sorry, 
this week, third, up until the 3rd of March this is, um, life is definitely changing over. I can definitely you see that whatever you have been doing healing wise there is some big changes i really feel that um that you have decided to be a little bit more kind of um choosy on who you tell how you feel to um so yeah just uh let me just get some more cards on it okay so yeah i feel that you you're going to be taking on a new challenge um that could be a new hobby or something that you've always wanted to do and i feel that this would involve meeting new people um and chatting to new people and um getting getting um i do feel as if it's like maybe dates coming you know getting some dates together uh with either friendships or with love life but i definitely see some um get togethers outside of this um, new get together project. Um, I can see that there is um, signatures on paperwork, and I feel that these paperwork is linked to um, your future and putting your name down for something within your future. Getting excited about that. Um, there is a funny character around you, somebody who does make you laugh. They do know how to push the buttons, okay, to make you giggle. And uh, this person is going to be very good for you Gemini's um, it's time to break out of wherever you are and into something that uh, you're more in control of okay so yeah that's what I see for lovely lovely Gemini's okay so okay so this is for Libras um, so this is also for my my lovely gorgeous husband who I love dearly um, he, I said do you want me to do any shout outs for you and he said no just tell everybody that you love me so I have I do I do love him very much I know it's sickly sorry um, but can't help it so anyway um, this is for him he's a triple Libra and I have got Libra rising and for any other Libras out there okay so let's have a look see what's going on with you Okay, I'm concentrating now on your next week. Okay. So, right, so I've got um, a feeling of um, a block or, you know, um, there has been, um, I've been up against, you know, um, an obstacle I couldn't get past the obstacle how do I get past that and I feel that there is there has been mischievous energy around we do actually get psychic attacks we do and um, they're usually blocked by our wonderful team of spiritual helpers every now and again there's just a bit of interference and sometimes the interference comes from the people or things around us rather than they're not able to get to us so they get to other things okay so that could be to do with how your income is coming to you or that could be how one person can help you and they block that um, so this is channeled come from um, spirit, the spirit world there. OK, so, um, yeah, so that is a good point. So if you when you're doing your protection, if you can visualize a whirlwind like a vortex of energy and spin it faster and faster and faster and wider and wider and wider. OK, around your world. OK, so this could be around the whole world, around your situation. It really doesn't hurt to do this because all you're doing is getting rid of any bad energies, any energies that just are not right for you and are no good for um, anyone else either. OK, so rid the rid the world of those. If we all did that, could you imagine the collective energy of getting rid of the darker side of life? Um, pretty amazing. So anyway, there has been this realization is going to come to you and it's going to be like, aha, I realize that. So I'm telling you that, that that has blocked, that that has been lifted. There is no block anymore. OK, so you, you should already start to see um, there have been some massive 
changes and some massive new opportunities coming your way financially, emotionally, physically in every way. OK, um, so money also opportunity too. Um, I can see that you are projecting yourself to your future, okay, of what you want, how you want um, to um, your life to be, um, and mapping out and doing it in stepping stones of that. Um, so say if you wanted, I don't know, um, by the end of this year, you want a million million pounds or million dollars okay you visualize that million dollars and you split that into different sections um that then build that up for you okay um and so visualize that actually coming about you know i'd need to kind of have earned this by that time and i need to have earned that by then this time and then i'd take a leap of faith there okay so there is there is definite um, manifesting energy around, you know, any Libras out there. In fact, anyone who's listening to this will be triggered to do this because it's really good. Um, looking forward to that that precious time, okay, um, that you can uplift yourself, feeling in good energy, okay. So you've got that um, lovely feeling of contentment of um you know this is me like it or not this is who I am and not listening to any gossip and you know sometimes we have to listen to the truth of stuff but we do also have to switch that off and we do have to go and um um you know really have some fun have some laughter um what makes you laugh or who makes you laugh you know uh, and uh, go with that so it is very important to have that 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 lovely balance okay you will be hearing some things that are going to be a bit shocking to you i don't feel as if this is linked with you personally um but this could be somebody um um, close to you, okay, and you're kind of witnessing that they've been told on the phone something shocking, okay, and uh, you're, um, I feel as if this shocking isn't a bad thing, it's more like a surprise, being told a surprise, okay, I can see celebration of love, okay, around, so there is a get together, wouldn't surprise me if there's a wedding or some sort of um, connection together, I can see that, um, and uh, that celebration of love energy is there. OK, you've got these two wonderful cards and this one as well. Um, so look at those cards for love for you. OK, so you have the three of cups, which is celebration of love, reuniting with somebody from your past here. OK, this is something very familiar. Um, and then, um, you know, it's like having... Um, a get together with with people or someone that you really just needed to be in their company needed to be in their energy and couldn't wait um to to be there and for there to be um that mutual feeling as well so you know like i said these cards don't always have to be love life sometimes that will be a friend a family member who surprises you by driving down to see you or up to see you um you know somebody who you bump into in the in the um supermarket or you bump into them at the corner shop or something and then here they are um and they're telling you all sorts of wonderful things and inviting you around there and then um and they're being parties so it's opportunities that bring you joy and happiness that i really feel that um and there is going to be an offer that you know why don't you come now and come and enjoy it's like oh i've got a work or I've got to do this and it's like but could you get out of it if you tried could you uh, without letting too many people down would it happen um, you know these opportunities sometimes they come along okay and sometimes we have to kind of stretch out of our uh, restrictiveness sometimes um, so yeah it's like experiences are pre precious and sometimes they can be um you know left out if you like um of your life a bit too often okay so yeah watch out for opportunities of joy okay for sure and i feel that's the message for everybody watch out for those moments of joy 
and reconnect with those people that you have known for a long time they are your family whether they are real family blood family or whether they are your spiritual family and that spiritual family could be found online if you haven't got many people around you who are spiritual we we have no choice guys you've got to reach out and um and be be there um online you know join groups join chats okay if you are feeling lonely there is a lovely new facebook page uh, that is called in 5d community members in 5d community members please request to join really um you know it is uh, an amazing amazing group and uh, you know this is for our in 5d people to join together you know chat about you know ask who's single you know so that you can find out who's single maybe if you're kind of um you know looking for love you know see who's looking for love see who's um you know around in your area obviously i don't advise you giving your address out or anything like that um but you know this could grow this could grow so yeah in 5d community members okay so yeah enjoy that um i'm gonna go because as you can see i'm probably rocking now <laughs> so um i just want to thank everybody and you know if you do have um your spare you know money you know that uh, you would like to support uh, greg or i you there is an in 5d um patreon um tab and that therefore you can get a reading with greg and i together once a month so yeah anyway lots of love and, and um take care and uh, have a wonderful wonderful week i love you i really do